Welcome to another video. So for today's video, we're gonna be playing using the OCG ban list. Now OCG came out with a ban list a couple weeks ago and it was pretty harsh on a lot of decks and this deck in particular got hit really hard. So I'll go through what was banned right now in the extra deck. Totally awesome, zero. Crystron Hulk of Fibrax, zero. Predaplant Verte Anaconda, zero. I'll show you the deck list I came up with for the OCG. Let's go. All right, so here you go. Here is the deck list with the OCG ban list for Mermails. Uh, replacing Hulk of Firebrex in the extra deck with two copies of Tatsunoko. That's a Deep Sea Diva plus a Neptibus will get you this bad boy. And you can Synchro Summon using monsters in the hand. It's almost as good as Hulk of Firebrex. I mean, it's not, but it's 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 close. Um, all right, so that's the deck list. Hope you enjoy this video. If you do, give it a like, give us a subscribe to the channel. Let's get to the gameplay. All right, interesting hand here. We got double Ash. We got a way to discard our two Dragoons. So let's do that. Get searching. Megalo gonna summon itself. See if opponent has some interaction here. And it doesn't look like they do. So let's search for our beautiful Deep Sea Diva. And with our other Dragoons, we're gonna search for Mill and Glacia. So goal here is we're gonna take a look at their hand, make them discard. Diva get Prince. This Prince is gonna send our last Dragoons. Get us a Heavy Infantry. Dragoon's gonna search for Deep Sea Minstrel. Let's use those two cards to take a peek at our opponent's hand here. Opponent is playing Lava Golem, Skill Drain, Numeron. Numerons. All right, so opponent got two copies of Skill Drain here. We're not gonna try and get rid of the Skill Drain. We're gonna try and get rid of their Numeron package. So let's remove a Skill Drain from their hand. And let's Special Summon the Moulin Glacia. Discard two at random. Hit the Numeron Calling and the Planet path Pathfinder. That means his hand is a Skill Drain and a Lava Golem. Gonna make the Ravenous Crocodragon and play the Neptibus on field. Now, this board, we know whatever we make is gonna get Lava Golemed. So we just wanna have as many monsters as possible. Give him, uh, you know, fewer a Lava Golem targets. Opponent gets their Skill Drain back. So they got two Skill Drains and a Lava Golem. We'll see what else they have. Uh, opponent gonna kaiju with a lava golem. Get rid of our two monsters there. We're gonna hurt ourselves with our freshly obtained lava golem. Let's activate the prince now. This probably was a mistake, it's hard to know, but we could have sent the heavy to the graveyard and tried to add a Poseidon to hand. What's likely to happen is he's gonna activate skill drain, but the heavy would activate in graveyard and pop. So we would have got rid of a skill drain for free. Uh, unfortunately, opponent took did take the bait. They're not going to let us search. So, Poseidon goes to the graveyard for no value. We're just going to have to play under Skill Drain from now on. Now, we lost our battle phase because our Milling Glacier got Lava Golemed. Opponent going to not take any chances here. Activate the second Skill Drain and making a Metal Reflect Slime. Now, this monster has 3,000 defense, so it might be hard for us to get through. Uh, opponent gonna get rid of our Lava Golem and give us a Kaiju. Now, I'm not sure what opponent's game is here. I think they should have left us with that Lava Golem. But opponent going aggro, making the Egyptian God Slime. And you need to attack him. Alright, that makes sense. Maybe they, maybe they think it's hard for us to get through this. We got a lot of monsters in our extra deck with 3,000 attack though. Let's get rid of the Ash and make a Mermaid Abyss Lacia. Yeah, this monster's effects activating the graveyard. So, actually good for us if it gets destroyed. Opponent, not phased, going straight to battle phase. Pop in the Abyss Lathia. All right, activate. Let's send a heavy infantry, pop this God Slime, and special summon our boy Poseidra to the field. He's got 2,800 attack points. Gotta love that Poseidra. I always love when he becomes relevant. Back to our turn here. Draw another call by the grave. Really, we're hoping for a water monster so we could summon our Teus, but We'll just have to settle. Opponent is ending the turn with no cards activated. We might be able to get lethal here. Draw powerhouse max C. Let's get attacking. Not gonna play around gores. Going straight for battle. Opponent activating the Numeron wall. Numeron wall's effect will end the battle phase. Now he cannot activate its effect because he has other cards on the field. Numeron wall can only activate 
if you only control Numeron Wall and no other cards. Now the uh, battle phase is ended, I believe. There we go. So we're going to just have to end our turn here. Opponent running out of options. Going to give us a starter for Kaiju and eat our Poseidra. That was a mistake opponent. He should have left us with the max C. Could have done more damage. Back to our turn. We're going to set this Infirm. We're going to attack the Nimron wall. This will mean the Star Destroying Kaijus will trade with each other. Opponent sets a card face down, goes for the attack. Trading the Star Destroying Kaijus. This duel could go either way. Drawn a Deep Sea Diva. Effect negated, so let's just summon the Teus. Teus going to summon itself. Effect negated. Let's summon that Ash. That's a level 10 Synchro. Baronda Fleur's effects are negated, but he's still a 3000 beat stick. Let's get attacking. Hit that Numeron wall. Opponent, what are you going to draw? Now opponent's setting a back row. Now I'm worried. Maybe like a Waboku and a gate attack. Let's activate Deep Sea Aria. Search for a monster with 1,300 attack points. We can get through 1,200 attack points. But opponent was a torrential tribute. We got baited. We got baited hard. Never should have summoned. Should have just gone for the attack. Big mistake. Opponent end of the turn. We got to draw something. And here it is. Max C, the powerhouse. Straight to attack mode. Cockroach attack. Got him. All right. What a game. Showing off, you know. Yeah, I don't need Hulk combos to do an impressive game. All right, let's do another game here. All right, let's go. We're a bit of a clunky hand. We can use Neptubus to do some searching, though. Opponent got Pot of Extravagance. Hopefully this Ghost Ogre will do some work here. Opponent playing Sub-Terrors. I have not seen this before. This is very interesting. Now, this field spell adds a monster hand and can change the sub monsters to attack or defense position. Not sure I want that sitting around. Opponent activating the field spell. Let's discard. Pop that field spell. Opponent end of the turn. We draw another minstrel. Let's summon our prince activate. Search. Opponent is going to try and hit us with the Ash Blossom. Let's call by the grave. If I'd seen a Max C hang, I might have kept this, but not worried about Max C. Alright. Ash is negated. Get our search from the Prince here. And now we're going to get a look at our opponent's hand with the Minstrel. But first, let's search the Lapis Dragon. Get him on field. Now let's take a peek. Opponent has another pot, a sub tier guru and a sub tier fiendus. Now this is a hand trap. When your opponent activates a card or effect, you can send this card to the graveyard, target a sub tier, negate the activation, change the targeted monster to face down defense position. Interesting. So we're gonna get that out of his hand for now. Get our Mulan Glacia, and that's five water monsters in the graveyard with the Coral Dragon. Let's Mulan Glacia. Make him discard too. Guru and Pop in the graveyard. Let's start discarding with the Coral Dragon. Pop his back row. That goes and match out of the way. Sub Terra Guru is going to flip. Search for a Fiendus. Uh, we're going to hit his life points directly. I'm not sure what this one card can do. We'll just have to see. Opponent's got two copies of it. What are you going to do, opponent? Now, having the Hulk Fibrax line, we probably would have shredded our opponent to pieces, but we're playing with the OCG ban list now. We got a. Ooh, opponent summoning his Sub Terrors back on the field. Now, I played Sub Terrors in Duel Links, and uh, these ones weren't weren't the ones I saw. It was mostly the level 6 and 7 Sub Terrors. Opponent has a Dogmatic of Punishment. Gonna Dogmatic of Punish our Moon Glacia. Now, I make a mistake here. I thought that I lost the battle phase this turn. But I actually lose it next turn. So I'm going to summon Marincess Coral an enemy. Draw a card here. 
special summon the prince. Draw two more cards. Add, add to hand with the prince and add with the dragoons. Activate the more of greed. Refresh our hand here. Hoping for a Teus. And we don't hit the Teus, but we do hit an Imperm and an Ash, so we got some more interaction. And I skipped my battle phase. That was a mistake. I should not have skipped the battle phase. Opponent flipping. They're going to search for sub terror. I'm going to Ash this. Now, opponent is activating a sub terror Fiendus. Going to make this guy flip face down. We're going to activate the Imperm. But uh, what I do not realize is that the order of this chain means that the Imperm will not work because Subter Guru is getting flipped face down. So even though his effect's negated, he gets flipped face down, so now his effect is going to resolve anyway. So uh, lesson learned. Wasted my Imperm there. Uh, opponent activating the Subter Cave Clash. Gonna flip the Fiendus face up and special summon the Guru from the graveyard. Flipping our Prince face down. But opponent, not willing to get aggro. Not going to aggro town. Not sure how this deck gets wins. Seems to be dirtling quite a lot. Let's pop this sub terra cave clash. Summon the heavy infantry. Get our additional normal summon of the deep sea minstrel. And special summon the bad boy beside reusing his effect to special summon himself from the graveyard. Gonna return all spell and trap cards to the hand. Special summon an Atlantean from the graveyard with Prince's effect. Get that trap out of here. Get our Dragoons on the field. And now our field's clear so we can special summon with Coral and Enemy. Giving us a level 10 Synchro Monster. And that's right. We're making the Sovereign. Xie Ying. We're trapped in the water so we couldn't make Baron de Fleur here. And our battle phase is skipped so we got to go to our opponent's turn. But Xie Ying is very hard for our opponent to deal with. Except with this sub terra behemoth, Umastrix, who can uh, once per turn flip face up and pop a monster, banish a monster, I believe. Yep, flip, target a monster, banish it. That'll get rid of our sword soul, so we gotta make sure that doesn't get on the field. Let's normal summon our Deep Sea Diva. Opponent hitting us with the Ice Dragon's Prison. Gonna banish, summon our Prince, and uh, banish both the Prince and the Diva. Great card, Ice Dragon's Prison. Don't see it a lot, but uh, when I do see it, it's usually quite strong. Uh, opponent banishing a card is going to activate the effect of our Sword Soul Supreme Sovereign. And Fiendus is going to negate. No banish for us. Uh, opponent activating the effect of their Behemoth. Let's special summon Bahamut Shark. Activate the effect. Can't get Toad. Toad's banned in the OCG. So we were going to get a Mermail Abyss, uh, Abyss Oshi, I think is the name. Where is she? Uh, Abyss Trite. Abyss Trite was what we were going to get, but our Bahama Shark got negated. Let's make the Abyss Lacia. Let's go to battle. Get rid of that Umastrix. Umastrix is gone. Sub Terra Guru flipping. Adding a card to hand. Only one sub trigger can activate each turn. Let's hit him with 3,900 attack points. Sword Soul Supreme Sovereign. Pretty good fit in this deck, being a water monster. Opponent activating Legacy of the Duelist. When your monster declares an attack, you can target a spell or trap card, negate the attack, and destroy that card. Each player can only set one spell or trap card from their hand per turn. Monsters can attack, cannot attack the turn their special summon from the extra deck. Very interesting. Also, let them add monsters from the graveyard in a hand. What a card. Very spicy list from the opponent playing sub terrors. Adding a Nemesis Archer to hand. Let's keep attacking here. I think we got him. Get him with the Supreme Sovereign. All right, showing the power of Mermails. No Hulk of Fibrax. No Toad. No Verte. Deck still strong. Take a lot to kill this deck completely. Definitely powered down, but still a lot of fun. I'm going to show you the whole deck list at the end of the video. Hope you liked the gameplay today and have a good night.